Hello YouTube, uh, it's Adam's Live for Ivan here, just back with a quick, quick upload, just to sort of like show you all that I'm, <laughs> I'm still alive, um, just show you basically what I've been doing over the winter period while uh, the bikes have been off-road, uh, anyone who watches my channel will know this is my DR250S, there's um, a Japanese import, as you can see by the registration number, it's all... Um, back on the road um, registered, MOT'd, fully road legal now uh, got the um, certificate back, the V5 back off DVLA last week, midweek, got the number plate made up I've got it on um, things I've done to the bike really since, well a little tool bag on the back as you can see um, bar pad uh, and the tyres really Apart from the number plate, or oh, on this little setup on the back, I think if you, it had like indicators on the side here, which I didn't really like, but I'm not too keen on them really. Might change and we get some older, more retro looking ones with the normal light bulbs in. But that's a just a secondary stoplight, it just came with all this, all came together. That's a tail light and stop light. Uh, that could have been a tail light and a stop light, but I just wired it up, wired it up as a stop light. And the other thing, there's the new rubber. Uh, it's the Michelin Anarchy Wilds. Front and um, rear. Yeah. Decided to go for them. A more like 50 50 tyre. Um, actually got them from oh, over near Accrington. Uh, £130 fitted. Well, I went in loose wheel. And Adam fitted. So that's it, the DR is all ready. Road legal, ready to use. Unfortunately, the weekend that it's all road legal and ready to use, we start getting rain, hail, and snow. Uh, I'll just show you this. This is my mates. Um, it's what it is Vulcan S, it's Vulcan 650S. And there's his tank. We're just in the process of giving it a service, really. Dropping the oil. Doing the plugs. So obviously the tank's got to come off, air filter box has got to come off next, get down to his plugs. And we're going to drop his oil. We're going to oil, oil and filter on, and that'll all be ready for the new season. You know, the Versus. There she is. Uh, the biggest change to the Versus is new discs, new EBC discs, and um, double H scented pads, because anyone who's watched. Uh, my vlogs before I've noticed that when I took it for MOT last year they said that I had slightly warped discs they said it was uh, the brakes were pulsa pulsing under 15 mile an hour but it was only uh, put down as an advisory because it was only under 15 mile an hour so these are the old ones that was the uh, the new EBC brakes uh, the old discs I mean, it's a pity as well, because <laughs> they're a really good disc, you know what I mean? But obviously one of them is slightly warped. But they're the new ones. Got a good deal with these as well. I think there's something like £180 a disc if you go on the website, on EBC's website, and I managed to get both of them and the pads for £180 off eBay. The... They've never been used, they were second hand, but they've never been on a bike. They're brand new in the box, all sealed up. Somebody had bought them actually for an ER6, but the ER6 runs the exactly the same wheels as the Versus, front and rear, you can interchange the wheels, so obviously the brake pads and the brakes are exactly the same. Spins quite freely. Stops all right. Um, what else have we done to the Versus? I've done an oil and filter change. Sorry, there's not a lot of room in it, so it's not going to be the best video in the world. We get the keys. Um, there's an oil and filter change on it. And I put some LED headlights in it. And believe it or not, YouTube, it took me longer to do the LED headlights than it did to do the front brakes. Uh, these are the these are the headlights I've got, the LED headlights I've gone for. Night eye, auto lighting. 
Um, they can't really see what they're like, they're just the old bulbs. But they come with like a cooling fan behind them, so they're a lot less awkward, they were a lot more awkward to fit. So all the furring, all the headlight and everything had to come off. I'll put a picture on so you can see it. Well they're the new lights anyway. Hang on. We hit the kill switch so you can hear me. There's the uh, high beam or the passing light. They were already on. But <laughs> how bright are them now? Running it all winter and not getting the brakes off. Um, and giving them a good clean was bad maintenance really on my behalf. So that's resulted in warp discs, like I say, I mean, Steve on it, he's having the same problem. He runs his bike all winter. I mean, he maintains his brakes. He, give, he cleans them as regular as he can, as time permits. And he's still had the same problem. You eventually, they start to bind on. They start to heat up. And what happens when they heat up, obviously, they're a floating disc. Everyone knows that they're a, a semi-floating disc. And what happens is when you're... The binding, the heating up this plate, this plate expands, and see the little gap there, touches this plate, which is solid, and when you apply the brake, it's got no movement, it's got nowhere to go, so it obviously deforms the disc and warps the disc. Now these can never warp, is what they advertise them as, because instead of, normally you can spin these, you can spin these uh, bobbins, buttons, whatever you want to call them, you can spin them. But you can't spin these because they're not round, even though they look round from the outside, they're actually oval inside, in, inside there, which prevents, supposedly, this and this part of the disc making contact, no matter how what these get, because these will be used, obviously, on track and stuff like that, especially with the scented pads. So they're going to get a lot of heat. So these, apparently, can never warp. That's what it says on the box. If I can see it somewhere. Fully floating rotors, lightweight, square drive SD button system, that's it. This is square drive SD button. Totally eliminates rotor warping. 100% stainless steel. Rotor blade and hardware. This obviously is stainless steel. Lightweight alloy scent hub. Fully floating rotor system. But that is the main one. Totally eliminates rotor warping. <laughs> we'll see if that is actually true. There's the helmet. There's all my kit. <laughs> this is my new jacket. My new Oxford uh, Montreal free jacket. I'll tell you what, it's brilliant. Got the pants to match it as well. But more about my kit. I'm going to do an upload about my kit and all my camping gear. There's my tent down there. There's my sleeping bag. My pillar and some other camping gear. The go outdoors stuff. I'm going to do another upload on that probably next week. With all my, with my RST jacket there. Huh? RST TT jacket. But yeah, I'll probably do uh, another upload on all that next week. Anyway, thanks for watching YouTube. Just like I said, quick upload just to show you what I've been doing over winter while I've not been doing much vlogging and not had my bikes on the road. I know we've had a really nice couple of weeks in, um, what's it? in February but I didn't expect it um, the DR wasn't registered and the Versus was in bits and, re <laughs> and having all the work done to it so I couldn't make a, take advantage of them a couple of weeks that we had with everybody else did but I couldn't unfortunately anyway thanks for watching hopefully next time I put a vlog up I'll be on this, if not <laughs> I'll be boring you all with my kit anyway thanks for watching, like and subscribe speak to you all again soon ta for now, ta